In this video I'm showing how I fixed the problem on my Admiral washing machine where it would make a violent banging sound whenever it would begin the spin cycle. I've had this machine for several years and this issue's gradually gotten worse. At first it began with only really heavy loads like towels and blankets and such, but it progressed to the point where it would do this with every load and it had me wondering if this thing was going to go through the wall one day. Luckily the fix is pretty simple and it's a lot cheaper than buying a new unit, so I'll show how I did that now. I didn't have adequate space to do this repair in our laundry room, so I had to disconnect the supply lines and dolly it out onto the patio. To begin I removed these three screws on the back. One of the screws holds this metal panel in place. Once the screw's out the panel just comes loose so you can set that aside. And the other two screws hold the top of the washer in place. Once those screws are removed, you should be able to slide the top of the washer towards the front. And you should be able to tilt the top back so you can see down inside of the machine. Point of caution when you're doing this, it's not on hinges or anything, so just make sure that these tabs line up with these grooves in the metal here. I also sat my ladder back behind it so I would have something to rest the top up against. This is what the inside looks like with the top opened up. The parts that are relevant here are the suspension rods that are in each of the four corners. As you'll see in a minute, these rods extend down to the bottom of the tub, and the tub is just sort of suspended in midair. The rods have kind of a dampening, shock absorbing effect, but as they wear out, the tub is allowed to move too much and that's how you get the banging. To remove the old rod, I just had to reach down into the washer, lift up on the rod, and then twist it so it would slide down through the top plastic. There's lots of parts waiting to poke and cut you here, so just be careful when you're doing this. Then I repeated these steps for the second rod on this side of the washer. If you work with your hands fairly often, you'll be fine doing two at a time. I haven't seen the inside of a gym in years and I was fine doing it this way. But if you don't feel the need like me to constantly risk destroying your body to protect your insecure and fragile male ego, then doing one at a time is fine. The replacement rods included new plastics, so I also removed these little cups from the top mounts. And at this point the first two rods were disconnected from the top, so I went ahead and put the cover back down. And just a little bit on the replacement parts before we go up under the machine here. I got this kit from Amazon for about 30 bucks. I'll leave a part number and a link in the description. It came with all four suspension rods, as well as replacement plastics, which was everything I needed to complete this repair. I leaned the washing machine up against the house here, so that I could get to where the suspension rods connect at the bottom of the tub. And I shot from up underneath of the washer here, I pulled the first rod out. Then I grabbed the first new rod from the kit, and I put it in place. The rods have these little plastic pieces, so they'll rest in place once you put them through the holes. And now over to the second rod, I went ahead and removed that one as well. and then put the new rod in place. Now I was able to gently set the washer back down on all fours and open the top back up again. And as I mentioned, the kit included these little plastic cups. I don't think they were especially critical to the repair, but it came with them, so I installed them. Now I pushed the tub over to the other side so some of that weight would rest on the rods that were still in place. And I reached down inside of the washer and grabbed the first rod. I pulled it up through the hole and secured it in place with the top plastic. And then I repeated these steps for the second rod. And it's definitely a lot easier with the other three out of four rods supporting most of the weight from the tub. Now that the rods on this side were done, I put the top back down. And then I rotated the washer around so I could start on the other side. I opened up the top of the washer and leaned it up against my ladder. And then again, this is the exact same thing as the first side. I lifted up on each of the rods, slid them down through the plastics, and let them fall inside of the washer. I removed the old plastic cups from both of the mounts and then installed the new ones. Then I lowered the top back down so that I could lean it up against the house and get at the bottom of the machine again. This time both of the rods sort of just surrendered and fell out on their own. I went ahead and took both of them out and tossed them aside and installed both of the new rods. Then I sat the machine back down, opened the top up one last time, and then same as before, I pushed the tub to the other side so those rods would help support the weight. I fished the first rod through the hole and secured it in place with the plastics, and then did the same for the final rod. Now it was time to lower the top back down and close everything up. 
I put the two screws back in that hold the top cover in place. Then I put the little metal panel back on and screwed it into place. At this point the repair was completed so I wheeled the washer back into our laundry room. I reconnected the supply lines, drain line, and power. And finally I ran a test load that consisted mostly of the towels that I dirtied up from cleaning up all the water I spilled doing this project. All two or three or however many spin cycles ran without the banging noise though so at this point I'm calling it fixed. I hope this video was useful if you also have an Admiral washing machine that's making a crazy violent banging sound. Hit the like button if this video helped you out and thanks for watching.